Hello and welcome back to another episode of Everybody's Jonathan. Today we are adjusting the valves on a Chinese style 125cc um, and this particular engine is a Kimco. Um, I do have a printout of the service manual if you're looking for a step-by-step -step tutorial. Um, it goes over this particular engine. Um, you can skip to the back to find that. Here's some of the basic tools I use to complete the job. Uh, I have a couple size ratchets here, um, 9 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter, um, 14 millimeter, and a 5 8 for the spark plug. A couple different sized uh, flathead screwdrivers, an adjustable wrench, and feeler gauges. Okay, let's jump right in. We are going to start by taking out the spark plug here. Um, after that, we take off the valve caps. Um, both the intake and the exhaust, um, as well uh, as take out the bolt on the right side of the spark plug, and that holds the cam cap in place. Okay, so this is the cam cap that fell off when I removed the bolt. I just kind of wanted to show you what that looks like. Um, next, we are taking off the caps here um, on the side of the engine. Um, so we're able to look at the timing marks and uh, turn the engine over. Okay, so you can't really see it here, but I have the 14 millimeter socket um, on the flywheel and I'm turning the engine over um, and you can kind of see the marks on the flywheel here. Um, what we're looking to do is uh, match up the timing marks on both the flywheel and the cam gear, which you'll see shortly. Okay, so the first time I lined up the um, lines on the flywheel, um, but it did not match up with the, the dot on the cam gear. Uh, so I had to go another revolution to get both uh, right on the mark. Okay, and this is what we're looking at for the cam gear, that the dot matches up with the notch. Okay, so now we're ready to measure the clearances. I'm starting out with a 0 0.10 millimeter feeler gauge here. Um, it's a step up from the 0 0.08, uh, which is the recommended clearance. I like to see if it can fit or not. This one actually does fit, which it probably shouldn't fit freely in there. It's a little snug, but it still fits. Um, so what I found works well is if you use the step up um, and you tighten it down um, to get it fairly tight, uh, it makes it uh, almost perfect for the next size down, which you'll see. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is loosen uh, the valve here. This is a nine millimeter. I'm gonna loosen it and you can see I'm just finger tightening the uh, bolt from the top uh, to get that feeler gauge tighter than it was. Um, and then I am uh, tightening that uh, nut once again. Um, and you'll see I'll be able to put the 0 0.08 millimeter in afterwards here. Um, and it should have some drag, um, but uh, it shouldn't be loose and it shouldn't be uh, too tight either. Okay, and now we are going after the exhaust valve. Sorry for the camera angle here. Obviously a little difficult to see what's going on at this angle, um, but essentially it's the same method. Um, I took the, the 0 0.10 millimeter feeler gauge um, and it was uh, too tight to fit in, which is kind of a good thing. Um, and the 0 0.08, which uh, the adjustment calls for uh, was actually perfect so um, this exhaust valve requires no adjustment at all which you know is a good thing Okay, and uh, essentially we are done now. We just need to button everything back up, the covers and caps. Um, so this, uh, I had about 1,600 miles since my last valve adjustment on here. Um, the first adjustment at 400 and some miles was crucial uh, because both of the valves were way too tight. There was no clearance at all. Um, so after putting a f uh, about 1,600 miles on, um, they were just slightly, the intake was just slightly out of adjustment. Uh, not bad by, by no means, but obviously uh, they should be checked um, per specifications of the, the manual. So I like to keep track of the service that I do on my machines. Um, so I'm just journaling here the date, um, the mileage and uh, that I've adjusted the valves to this particular clearances. Um, next up we have uh, the service manual page by page uh, shows the process of the valve adjustments. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Um, if you've enjoyed the content, hit the like button. Subscribe if you would. I do have um, some more content coming your way.